trades. And if you lend it, your asset, your XRP, or your USD, or both, then you own a sort of share in the automated market maker, and you, you benefit from the trades that that automated market maker makes. And one of the things that I. Alrighty, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another CyperX video banger. In today's video, we are going to be digesting some XRP price action that we have most recently experienced. However, we have been tracking it here at CyperX for the longest time, giving you guys the realest and the most accurate technical analysis, in my personal opinion, in the XRP community, being very realistic with our price targets and our intraday analysis. And then we're also going to be covering some ongoing developments on the XRP ledger that everybody should be paying attention to if you hold the digital asset XRP. I cannot stress enough. Now is not the time to be fearful. Now is the time to take advantage of opportunities. So in today's video breakdown, stick around to the end. We're going to be jumping into what those potential opportunities could be for you as an XRP holder. With that being said, make sure that you all smash that thumbs up button and subscribe and let's jump in. So first, I just want to take your attention. One of the realist communities always projecting our analysis, putting our in-depth strategy on the line, showing you guys that these Delta zones that we provide to our private CyperX community are some of the most accurate trading levels that manual retail investors on the internet to this day have access to all given by our institutional scalper in our private CyperX community, just showing you guys the devils in the freaking details. Like if you all aren't paying attention to our TA here at CyperX, we have been calling out moves like this for almost the lifeline, the lifeblood that CyperX has been on Twitter. Not to toot our own horn, but to show you guys we're not here like the vast majority of manual retail investors in the XRP community telling you guys $100 price targets all the time. $1,000 price targets all the time. No, we understand fundamentals. We understand trading volume and trading activity on the XRPL and the actual reality of the XRP price action in the now, in the environment in which we currently operate in. So here you guys can see the dates. The timestamps are the most important because without the timestamps, this information would be nothing. This just goes to show that we are not just making this stuff up. All right. I said to you guys in a post on April 24th, so this is weeks ago, my XRP analysis, I'm still looking for buys as long as it holds above the 44 to 43 cent range. Currently, the price was retracing at the time of posting this to you guys from around 57 cents, and I'm watching for continuations of risk on market sentiment, which we have most recently gotten. Due to the dovish FOMC meeting that took place last week, the markets gripping onto the potential possibility of a Federal Reserve rate cut, and so on and so forth, we saw a slight recovery in the digital asset ecosystem. But here you guys can see the screenshot that I delivered to you all weeks ago. What were we looking for? We were looking for price to stay in this considerable bullish range right here. And we were looking for three scenarios, buy continuations above 54 cents, slight retracements into roughly about 50 cents and deeper retracements back down into the 48 to 47 cent range. Looking at where current price action is at now compared to where I projected price was going to go on April 24th, again, just giving you guys a realistic analysis, boom. You can see that that price action has materialized to the absolute T of a degree. Where we gave you guys this price analysis was up here. We saw the third scenario play out, a nice deep retracement down into 48 cents for some potential buying opportunities. And now price has slightly recovered, going on to target, in my personal opinion, the 57 to 61 to potentially even 62 cent threshold. So... With that being said, again, just accurate TA. Make sure that you guys are following us on X. If you want to learn our in-depth strategy, don't forget, again, we have access to hundreds of hours of course material teaching you guys our TA strategy through the cyperx.teachable.com portal. If you guys are looking for a more laid back approach and you just want to join a valuable community that pumps out this information, you guys have access directly to these Delta zones in our Discord. Lots of information that Cyprex provides. I cannot stress enough. Now is the time to freaking tap in, okay? So let's move on. With that being said, I don't want to focus my attention too much so on trading because trading is cool. We know that trading represents 95% of the activity in the digital asset ecosystem, but what is coming next, okay? What's the next wave of innovative solutions and opportunities in this space? Well, I mentioned to you guys, and this is going to play a massive role via some things and some video clips that I'm going to show you guys via some panelists that take place and have taken place over the past consecutive couple of months, where I say right here, traditional investing is dying. Ultimately, the government likes intermediaries, be they Western Union, JP Morgan, or the New York Stock Exchange in order to implement their policy objectives. And uh, that has been possible given the fact that you needed those financial intermediaries to engage in 
pretty much any economic transaction historically, except for cash in person. That world is gone, and that world is gone, and the regulatory, the regulatory and policy world, I think, uh, is not only going to take a while to catch up, but take a while to come around to the utility and benefits of that, or at least come around to the, uh, the fact that it's not going away. DeFi allows you to become a liquidity provider, earning significantly higher returns compared to conventional investing. Don't just hold on to your crypto. Learn how to use it to properly make you money even while you sleep passively. Sure. So if you're already living in a crypto native economy, right, you're holding Bitcoin, you're holding Ethereum, the natural question becomes, okay, what can I do with it? Right. And, you know, if we're going to build up finance in a totally decentralized way, we have to reabsorb these old use cases from the financial world. Lending is a really obvious one. Um, Aave, Compound, there's a bunch of popular protocols. I particularly like uh, Thorchain because you can use native Bitcoin, native Ethereum. They just launched lending as well, but there's no wrappers. There's no bridges. It really takes a lot of the intermediaries out of the process and just lets you hold your own custody of that native asset and put it to work. It just lets you hold your own custody of that native asset and put it to work, right? So I really like people pushing the bounds of that. You know, I think during the last bull market, there was a lot of DeFi in name only. A lot of people don't know that this opportunity exists. A lot of people in the XRP community don't know that you could actually be earning money on your XRP in XRP right now as we speak, growing your long-term portfolio. Now, again, to each his own, Make sure that you educate yourself on the up and coming opportunities in the DeFi space. We are building out a whole entire secondary portfolio with the Wealth 28 Club here at CyperX to show people how we are personally building a DeFi portfolio by utilizing these automated market makers, by utilizing DeFi, by utilizing DEXs to provide liquidity for trading pairs, to earn passive income and implement that passive income into our long term bull run bags, growing consistently over time. So I said to you guys last week, I dropped a video explaining in detail how I am growing another crypto portfolio from scratch, recording the whole entire process each week after week after week for the private Cyprex community using DeFi and AMMs. Well, well, well. Again, just to show you guys that post, I broke this down for you all. I broke it down for you all, how I'm going to turn 10K into 50K, what pools I'm going to be in, and so on and so forth. Now, obviously, of course, this video is just scratching the surface. There's a more in-depth video via the pools that I'm currently in, where I'm providing liquidity at, what assets I'm providing liquidity for, and so on and so forth for the private Cyprex community, but that's reserved for the private community. Here, if you guys want to go and watch this video, I break down my portfolio overview and my approach to this DeFi strategy. Now, back to this. This is important because what did Joel Katz, i.e. David Schwartz, just tell the world at XRP Las Vegas? So what is an automated market maker? So an automated market maker is something that sort of adapts the time between buyers and sellers. These exist in many traditional markets. If you have a broker and you go to buy stock in a publicly traded company like IBM, there is a healthy order book of people who will buy a stock from you and people who will sell the stock to you. And there are professionals whose job is to make sure that that market exists. They trade on um, these ex exchanges and they generally get preferential access to the exchange in exchange for committing to keep those sort of spreads tight on the market. An automated market maker is the decentralized version of the same thing. It's always willing to buy and sell an asset so that if I want to buy an asset today and maybe Rachel wants to sell it tomorrow, I may not wait to want to wait until she's ready to sell and she may not want to wait until I'm ready to buy. So an automated market maker has a pile of two assets, let's say USD and XRP, and it's always willing to buy XRP and it's always willing to sell XRP at some price so that other people can trade whenever they want. But there's another important thing about automated market makers compared to like the more traditional market makers. Because the automated market makers are implemented on decentralized blockchains, you can participate in an automated market maker not just by trading with it, but also by a sort of the equivalent of lending an asset. So remember I said the automated market maker has to have some USD so it can buy XRP whenever someone wants to sell it. And it has to have some XRP so it can sell XRP whenever someone else wants to buy. What an automated market maker does is it makes a return, it generates revenue from various different mechanisms, including the spreads on its trades. And if you lend it your, asset, your XRP or your USD or both, then you own a sort of share of the automated market maker and you benefit from the trades that that automated market maker makes. And he literally told them all, again, the entire crowd, that you can be your own bank by providing liquidity to XRP trading pairs. And people still don't get it. This information just flew right over their head, most likely. He said that if you lend out your XRP, then you benefit from the trades that AMM makes. Hello? Buying and holding XRP is a great long-term strategy, but there are ways that you can use your XRP to earn you income in the now. And you can use that income 
to refacilitate that capital into your XRP long-term bags and grow your long-term bags. I'm telling you all right now, if you're sleeping on DeFi, don't just like how in crypto, right? Just like how when you first got into crypto, there's a whole bunch of crypto skeptics. There's a whole bunch of te people telling you it's a scam. It's going to get rug pulled. Oh my gosh, it's not regulated. Get out. Well, when you start to get into DeFi, you're going to realize that there's that barrier as well. There's going to be people that are like, um, it's not regulated. Um, what's going on? This is a scam. How could you, why would you go and risk your XRP to earn income? What? I'm telling you guys right now, it is the new wave of investing. The old way of investing is dead. All right. So, I mean, in my uh, practice, I've seen that this can lead to some very exciting ideas. I mean, the DeFi market itself has gotten to about 46 billion. I checked today in terms of the assets being managed. Uh, we've even seen it over 100 billion in the past. Uh, and we're, we're probably likely to see the, uh, the usual curve hopefully going up. Um, but in terms of the impact we're seeing today, I want to talk about like, okay, how does it compare to traditional financial services? How are traditional financial intermediaries using it? Um, and then also, you know, overall, like what, what kind of impact can we see where we're actually going to get real value out of this beyond just, um, you know, cool test cases, like actually seeing people use this for large scale applications. Um, so, uh, I'm going to open this up to the group, but I might start with, with you, Bill, just because, you know, you're a consensus, uh, you're, you know, rolling out, like you've been using MetaMask and, uh, actually rolling out a roll up and other things that are very engaged with DeFi. So like, what have you seen are the most impactful use cases? And then I'll start going around the room and talking more. Wouldn't it be awesome to be able to engage in financial transactions beyond just payments and make that world uh, fleshed out, be it exchange or borrowing? Um, so I, I think about DeFi as being uh, expanding on the vision of Bitcoin in a way that makes it more viable for uh, worldwide mass adoption. And you can really maximize your potential in the digital asset ecosystem by taking advantage of these liquidity pools by lending out your XRP and earning passive income. It is time to wake the world up about this evolutionary technology and the opportunities that we have to grow our wealth. So now that you guys have seen some panelists, now that you all have heard David Schwartz talk, let's just go and read this fundamental piece. This just came out today, today, May 6, 2024. XRP Ledger might soon level up with new upgrades details below. And it goes on to say, XRP Ledger, a decentralized blockchain network powering the XRP cryptocurrency is poised to undergo significant upgrades, sparking anticipation and the excitement with cryptocurrency communities all across the board. New proposals and discussions are now taking place involving compliance, smart contracts, automation, optional fees, TradFi, and DeFi, expanding features, sidechains, and better user experience. What I want to take your attention to is it says right here, the XRP ledger is about to level up. The proposed lending protocol allows for the native decentralized lending on the XRPL by using single asset pool funds to offer fixed term loans with preset conditions for interest bearing debt. The atomic batch transaction status allows for the group of up to eight transactions into a single unit to allow for simple smart contract like automation. This is going to be absolutely essential for the price appreciation of the digital asset XRP. A lot of people don't understand that the reason why the digital asset XRP is so low in price is because there's no trading volume on the XRP ledger. That is all about to change. That is all about to be updated. That is all about to be integrated via these new AMMs. And again, David Schwartz is publicly telling you all this information. This isn't Cyprus trying to sit here and shill to you guys that being a liquidity provider is the best new innovative invention. No, this is directly coming from David Schwartz. So if you're in the XRP community, it is time to really wake up. It is time to really scale. It is time to use these innovative technologies for one of their many use cases, and that is building wealth, generational freaking wealth, ladies and gentlemen, the old system is dead. It's time to take advantage of this new digital infrastructure that they have built for all of us to participate in. Stop being skeptical and instead educate yourself on the possibilities at hand. Again, I'm not telling you guys to go out there and buy the digital asset XRP. Obviously, of course, there's risk involved getting involved in DeFi. But again, that is where education comes in. As always, many blessings to you guys. Make sure that you're tapped into us on Twitter for further updates on XRP trade ideas and the overall DeFi portal that we are creating for our monthly CyberX members. There will be updates posted on our X space as we move forward. We're looking to launch it towards the end of May, where we go into detail on how we are jumping into these liquidity pools, which liquidity pools we're in, utilizing the DeFi space to grow and expand our wealth. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next video breakdown. Mm -hmm.